obviously made it to camp. I spent way too much time, like probably the last half hour trying to get perfectly level and we're close. We're not perfectly there. I'm gonna call it. I don't wanna waste this sunset. This is called a rucksack. And let's talk about why I got into this. Cause I've been using this a ton recently in my daily routine and there's a lot of positive benefits. So as a lot of you know, I'm really into running. I run or I try to run every day. Recently it's been closer to three miles, but before that, if you checked out some of my older videos, you know that I've run hundred miles in a week. I am training for certain ultras. Regardless, today we're here to talk about rucking and why I got into it. So whether it's me walking my dog, whether I'm at camp, whether I'm just out and about, I found that this rucksack is a great way to always have something with me that can just cause that extra strain, extra stress. When you start out, it's gonna be pretty tough, but then if you stick to it, it actually gets pretty easy. So we're already up to a 45 pound plate. I started with a 30 pound and it's, it's tough at first. So for example, doing lunges, doing lunges while I'm in a refined camp space. Right now I'm in Big Bend National Park and I have a pretty big camp space to myself, but because of the pooch, I can't really go on trails or anything. So what I can do is walk around here. I can do some lunges. We can do push-ups with this rucksack and it just makes everything that much harder. While I know I'm getting a good workout, I've got one thing I've got to carry with me. It's a backpack. It's got a weight in it. Super simple, super easy. And I get to enjoy nice scenery while I partially torture myself. The reason I love this is Go Ruck, and I know there's a bunch of companies out there that make these bags, but this one specifically has all these handles. So you got handles on the sides, on the top, on the bottom. And so you can do, don't judge my form right now. Just trying to film. Point being, when you consider push-ups, when you consider this is essentially a weight you can throw around, you can almost treat it like a kettlebell. It's such a dynamic thing to carry with you and it's so easy to use that. For me, it's a no-brainer for carrying it's like something in my van. So let's jump to Kyle and Austin to talk a little bit about how I incorporated rucking into my everyday life. Even if I'm not carrying the weighted plate, it's something that when I'm getting groceries, when I'm doing normal shopping, you can also do. And so if you want a practical use case, then the cool thing is, covered in sweat. I just came back from a big old grocery haul and I'm not gonna do like a full unpack, but let's just say you can fit a lot of freaking stuff in your bag. So this is about a 30 pound ruck, two miles to my grocery store and back four miles total. I would guess this is about 30 pounds or so of food. It's definitely full. There's some dog food. There's a bunch of drinks in here as well. Just something you can incorporate into your everyday life. Well, I just got a good workout, rucking two miles. I also practically needed groceries, and so I was able to get them. I felt better because I didn't have to drive. I didn't have to deal with parking, anything. I can just walk, could go get a good amount of groceries, and we're set. Now the company that makes these Go Ruck actually hosts some events, which is pretty cool too. Now for someone that hasn't done one yet, as I understand it, it's something like going out and kind of doing a tough mutter, but more, I don't know if military focus is the way to do it. Like you definitely need flashlights and headlights. They do it pretty extreme. You're carrying a rucksack with weights in it the whole time. I think you have to have med kits. You have to have gloves. Like you're pretty well out there while you're doing it. And so for me, it's been a big factor of just how can I incorporate good workouts, new workouts into my everyday life. And here's the thing, humans are built for carrying weight. Like if you look at us, we're fundamentally designed, why we walk on two legs, why we have the sweating system that we do. We're meant to carry big weights long distances. So there's a lot of benefit to your joints, to your muscles, to your overall physical fitness of carrying things like this. It's something I definitely have fallen into and I've been doing for a few months now. And I definitely recommend for anyone out there but just trying to think of creative ways to work out. I don't want to call it easy ways to work out, but honestly, just go get fresh air, go for a walk, walk your dog, whatever you want to do, just throw the weight on your back and carry it around. Now you're getting cardiovascular health. You're getting muscular health. All right. So let's take a look at the bag and I should probably take the weight out of here, but you got molly panels basically everywhere. So for example, I've attached a water pouch on here if I need it, so I can use that. I like to keep it pretty bare bones because honestly, you wanna use this for working out. And so you don't want a lot of things in the way. Like I got the handles, so if I'm doing 
lifting type exercises, I wanna leave these free. You need the reflection bands for the contests. I just kind of threw this on there because I had it. I don't go that much at night at this point, but once it starts to get darker, once we get into winter here, this will be a little more effective. No outside pouches, anything like that. This bag is very specifically made for rucking. So sure, you could use it as a backpack, but that's not really what it's designed for. They've done some really nice things too. So this is very soft material. This is very durable material. This is the Tropic Camo one. So this is 500D Cordura. Cordura, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, so it's very, very resilient nylon. This is softer and this should still hold up, but I know this was a change they made to the newer models. So that way, if you're not wearing a shirt and you're working out, this isn't gonna cause abrasion. It's not gonna rip your shirts or it's not gonna rip your back if you're on bare skin. Again, Molly panel. So if you want a hydration bladder, for example, I can run the hose through here. Pretty easy, adjustable. You can do a hip strap if you want. This came with one. This is the larger of the two. So this is the longer rucker. So let me show you what's inside. Two zippers. Super simple, open it up. You've got some storage here. So if you wanna keep any gear, anything like that, headlamps, these are all Velcro now. So they say they're doing that because the zippers get smashed by the weights, get broken. The Velcro should be fine forever. I'm indifferent for a rucking pack. I'm okay with that. Honestly, if this was something I was gonna use more for everyday carry or something like that, I would prefer zippers. Inside then, again, this is the longer. Just wanna call that out because this is where things get very specific. You got drain holes in the bottom. Those exist on both models. Where it starts to change is the actual weights. So I can put two weights in here. I can put a 30 pound and the 45 pound I have in here, totaling 75 pounds. And then you can actually load up with sandbags inside the rest of this, which is pretty crazy. I got this because I know I wanted to carry 45 pound plates and you need the extra length. So this right now runs to the very bottom, runs to the top. If you get the smaller pack that only holds one plate, it does not hold the 45 pound plate or at least inside of the pouches. I haven't tried it, haven't tested it, haven't seen it, but that's what they say on the website. That's why I got the longer one. More weight, it's gonna be able to carry two plates. For me, this was a better fit. Just that mental, like, let me get, you know, to the next echelon or whatever. I'm gonna carry as many plates as I can, as much weight as I can. But in all seriousness, I knew I wanted to carry a 45 pound plate because I've carried a 25 pound pack that I actually used to run with. I have not tried running with this. I don't know that I would. I've tried like light jogging, but it does bounce around a lot. So I don't know that I'd recommend this for running. Probably get a dedicated weight vest, especially with weight that's distributed on the front and back. If you wanna do something like that, like actually run with it. But for hiking, for walking, for working out, for having this as also utility and kind of free weights, this is perfect for me. Really happy with the pack. It's well built, it's comfortable to wear. You can use it as a backpack every day, like if you wanted to, but again, these pouches take up so much space inside. Even if you don't have weights inside of them, they're so padded that I don't know that I'd wanna necessarily carry this around. I've tried it, haven't loved it. I use other backpacks for everyday stuff. So with all that said, get out there, do some rucking, get some weight on your back. It's good for you. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna be able to build up cardiovascular and muscular strength. Something I've adopted and honestly I really like because it's so easy to incorporate into my everyday life and it has such a practical benefit. So get out there, get after it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Comments below if you have any questions, hit that thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, all the things. As always folks, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you next time.